In this part of the series, we're going to learn how to create a simple animation and implement that animation in an interactive VR experience. The part that we're going to animate is the elevator. Select a part of it and click on the level up icon to get to the highest level of the elevator's geometry. The animation would be for the moving component of the elevator to go from the ground level to the second level of the design. Go to the animation tab in the bottom panel and move the time slider to frame 90. And since animation in VR has a frame per second rate of 30, creating a 90 frames animation would yield a 3 seconds animation. Using the transformation tool, move the elevator up to the second level. Notice that a keyframe has been created at frame 90 and another keyframe at frame 0. Those keyframes denote the change in the elevator's position in a spam of 90 frames. You can move the range slider to specify the beginning and the end of the animation's play area. Click on the keyframe and from the attributes panel to the right, open the drop down menu. From this menu, you can change the interpolation of the keyframes. By default, the values are set to linear, which would make the animation speed constant. But if we were to change it to auto ease, the speed would drop towards the end of the animation. You can also change the key's interpolation at frame 0, resulting in an animation where the elevator starts slow, then picks up the speed as it moves then again slows down as it reaches the last keyframe in the animation. Now that we're done with the animation, we need to attach it to some buttons, and when the buttons are triggered, the elevator would move. Go to simlab-soft.com to get the buttons we need. From 3D products, select Simlab 3D Composer. There under Resources, click on Tutorials. Select the training series, then the interactive VR experience. Click the elevator panel to download it. Go back to SimLab Composer and from the file menu select Import. As you can see, SimLab Composer is capable of importing a large variety of 3D file formats, making it a suitable partner for any 3D CAD application. Select the file you just downloaded and click Open. In the Import File dialog, you can set up some options for importing 3D geometries to the scene. Just make sure that the up vector is set to be the Z, since that was the up vector in the CAD application where the panel was designed. Press N on the keyboard or use the Snap to Object tool in the Quick Access menu to place the panel on the elevator's rail. If you were to play the animation, you will see that the elevator moves while the panel remains stationary. This behavior is to be expected since both components are in separate groups. To resolve this issue, simply select the highest level of the panel's geometry and with the left click, drag it into the moving elevator's group. And since the animation keys were created at the highest level of the elevator, any objects or groups underneath it would move along with it. To connect the animation to the panel, we need to first save it as an animation sequence. Select both keyframes and click on Create Animation Sequence. Type in a name for the animation sequence and make sure you check the Create Reverse option, which would create an additional animation sequence for the selected keyframes but in reverse, and we will use that reversed version to get the elevator down. If you were to click on the Animation Sequence tab, you will find both created sequences there, and they are ready to be attached to objects. Select the Up button, and from the Objects tab to the right, set the Action Type to Play Sequence. Setting up actions would trigger responses in VR and 3D PDF upon interacting with the object. So in our case, we need the action to play the Elevator Up sequence when the user interacts with the Up button. Click on the left up animation sequence to attach it to the action. Select the down button and similar to the first one, set the action type to play sequence 
but this time select the reverse version of the animation sequence to attach it. To run the VR experience from the SimLab VR Viewer menu, select Show in Viewer, then select the desktop mode. In desktop mode, hold the left click and aim at the button, then release to trigger it. And if you were in VR mode, hold the trigger on the controller, aim at the elevator's button, then release. 